afternoon naman welcome to the mock interview good afternoon sir so uh, naman tell the panel about uh, yourself your academic qualifications your work experience if any and your main hobbies very briefly yes uh, good afternoon sir uh, i am naman goel uh, i was born in jaipur and currently residing in mumbai i have done my bachelor's in technology from chemi in chemical engineering from iit bombay uh, in 2020 uh sir my hobbies include uh, following contemporary events in the civil aviation industry and uh, traveling sir sir i have no uh, prior work experience you have sorry sir no prior no work experience sir okay no work okay so naman you are from uh, jaipur or maharashtra sir i have done my schooling in jaipur till class 12 after that i have been living in mumbai sir. so how do you find uh, what 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 difference did you see uh, in the in the lifestyle you know that you see in jaipur and the lifestyle in mumbai uh, sir with respect to lifestyle uh, mumbai is a, a cosmopolitan city uh, where we see different people belonging to different culture uh, religion class caste Uh, residing here, while Sir Jaipur uh, is not a cosmopolitan per se, and people of the local uh, region are mostly residents of uh, Jaipur. So in that way, there is a large diversity in Mumbai. Apart from that, Sir, the uh, in terms of the the classes of people, uh, the the citizens in Mumbai they they are either they are very rich and uh, there are a large number of people who are living in slums as well. so i see a stark inequality in mumbai which is sir not so in case uh, in jaipur sir uh, naman you have mentioned that you have uh, done some con- following contemporary events in the civil aviation industry yes sir all right so just tell me the last two years have been bad for the civil aviation industry as a whole yes, and uh, many airlines have also been you know they have abandoned their services whether king fisher or jet airways and all and india happens to be you know in terms of the uh, aviation market it is third or fourth or maybe going to be uh, even uh, closer so what do you think ails the civil aviation industry today uh, especially with regard to airlines uh, sir with respect to uh, civil aviation industry Uh, even in the last one year during the covid 19 pandemic uh, the indian uh, airlines lost around 3 billion dollars of revenues and globally there was a loss of around 400 billion dollars of revenues sir so uh, specifically with respect to the ailing factors in the civil aviation industries and the airlines in particular uh, we see that the cost competitiveness is very high and the airlines uh, they rely on very small hair thin margin for their revenues uh, since the cost competitiveness is high and the the cost is also very high because uh, we need to provide large amount of service to the passengers uh, the cost of maintenance leasing of aircrafts and uh, the the aviation turbine fuel which comprises around 40% of the total cost for the airlines is also a major challenge for the sir airlines so these are the major factors which restrict the, the aviation sector and we see large bankruptcy for example in the case of kingfisher uh, jet airways and so on sir during uh, covid there was a uh, there was an arrangement called air bubble arrangement made by civil aviation uh, ministry now what was that air bubble sir uh, under the air bubble arrangement uh, since the regular inflow and outflow of flights was banned uh, across from india uh, the air bubbles were signed between two countries as a mou in which uh, certain no- number of flights were allowed to take off and uh, land in india and certain number of passengers were also allowed to uh, depart and arrive sir so under under this agreement we had air bubble with several countries like uae uh, usa uh, uk etc sir naman tell me uh, if you are the collector of some district say in maharashtra or rajasthan uh, and you want to get investments from the industry so the main complaint is that there is no ease of doing business in your district so we are not going to come now tell me naman what are the factors that you would look into to improve the ease of doing business in your district 
सर इफ आई मे चूज कैन आई चूज वन ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन राजस्थान फॉर एग्जाम्पल जयपुर ओके सर जयपुर Uh, sir jaipur i myself have observed that the availability of water and electricity which is the basic requirement for any industry is limited uh, water is not available for domestic purposes and similarly for industrial areas as well the government has established certain scz's but uh, the the arrival of uh, industries in those scz has has been limited so my priority would be to provide uh, uh, availability of uh, water and electricity to industries apart from that sir the labor is also not skilled so my one of the major priority would be skilling the labor uh, in the required uh, sir industrial uh, fields apart from this sir uh, the it sector or the uh, information communication technology sector has been lacking in jaipur and my priority would be to uh, increase the number of colleges who would uh, have computer science and it <coughs> ng and so as to say provide them some kind of incentives so that uh, the the it sector can establish its base in jaipur sir okay naman thank you i pass on to mr khanna he will ask you the next set of questions thank khanna, you sir please good afternoon naman good afternoon sir so uh, i find from your dev this is uh, your third third attempt at civil services uh, one in i for forest service and two for civil services uh, yes sir i have given uh, uh, indian civil uh, sorry civil services in 2020 and this is my second attempt in civil service and uh, one attempt i have also given in indian forest foreign service forest service uh, forest service forest so you you are an iit graduate and um, why why are you so keen don't you think uh, we'll be wasting a seat if uh, uh, you become a civil servant you are as it is uh, a big asset to the to india with your qualification you can always contribute a lot in where whichever field you go uh, definitely sir uh, as as a graduate of iit bombay uh, definitely there are uh, high expectations from me uh, to contribute to the society and sir civil service is one of the area which i would like to contribute sir the uh, idea of joining civil service also arose during my uh, studies in iit bombay and i realized that i'll be uh, more satisfied and enjoy working in the civil service sir iit bombay per se has provided me a lot of skill and uh, uh, made me a good uh, made me a talented person in the sense that i have acquired leadership skills at iit bombay and uh, attained focus and dedicated uh, attitude in me so sir these abilities which iit bombay has provided me i'll be utilizing in civil services as well good so you talked of uh, leadership qualities so if you are made police commissioner of delhi yes, what would you do to improve the image uh, of uh, delhi police sir may i take a moment to think Uh, sir delhi police has been doing a remarkable job uh, since uh, its establishment and uh, for example we see large number of anti terrorist uh, squads being created and uh, diffusion of uh, any any such threat so sir there is a positive perception but if we need to further increase the perception of delhi police we can always ensure that uh, the the uh, acu- or the crime against women is reduced so that there is a confidence among a uh, woman among children that uh, their their complaints would be heard by uh, the police we can also establish mahila police stations and uh, different uh, police station catering to uh, specific uh, vulnerable sections apart from this sir in the upcoming uh, in the in the present era we see lot of cyber crimes emerging and delhi police needs to uh, gear up in uh, solving the cyber crimes so sir improving the reputation would also come by uh, improving the Uh, skill set of the police personnel in delhi sir okay one thing which i was looking for in leadership quality was looking after your own men yes so they are the ones who create the image of police <coughs> yes okay sir. yes so yes it's very important to add that element don't you agree definitely sir uh, as a leader a police commissioner needs to ensure that the subordinates are motivated they are goal oriented and 
the resolution of any crimes uh, is taken place uh, at a faster pace and with the complete proper service delivery to the to the citizens sir okay so what what extra element will you bring to civil service after joining it how will you contribute sir uh, as a person from with a background in technology and especially uh, sir i am a graduate of chemical engineering so there are some uh, principles which we are taught in terms of analytical thinking uh, use of technology and particularly during uh, our chemical engineering studies we were taught the concepts of safety and hazard management and sir we have recently seen that there are a large number of incidents and accidents across different chemical plants different uh, industries in india so one thing which i would like to bring uh, into the civil servant civil services is that uh, proper uh, safety protocol should be followed and uh, least amount of damage should be uh, there to the personnel and the industries sir uh, okay let's talk of this uran scheme which was uh, started many years ago then we had uran 2 so how do yes. you assess uran scheme as of as on date what what is the success story or otherwise of uran sir uh, uran scheme which stands for ude desh ka aam nagrik is a flagship program of the ministry of civil aviation and uh, was aimed to provide regional connectivity scheme and has been largely successful in uh, attaining its objectives for example till now there have been 90 lakh uh, passengers which have been flown under uran scheme and subsidies have been provided to them similarly uh, some connection problem i think naman na there connection Hello? i think there's some connection problem naman can you hear us naman yes sir i think there was some uh, connection problem oh sorry sir uh, i'll uh, repeat now it's okay now you can continue uh, no no continue with odan okay sir sir i was saying that uh, udan was able to cater to around uh, 90 lakh people till now and uh, large number of airports have also been generated and increased from 60 to 140 similarly some of the uh, places in the regional area such as darbanga kushinagar uh, kunnul gulbarga which were otherwise not connected to the uh, metro cities have now been able to connect and one of the sp- uh, specific example which i can understand is sir uh, darbanga now sees 1.5 lakh people flying out of this the airport which is a, a great number and which was un- unimaginable at one point of time so sir udan scheme has been uh, largely successful sir all right you you are a chemical engineer yes sir and during pandemic uh, uh, chemical engineers played a very major role especially in the pharma sector so tell me contribution yes. of uh, uh, chemical engineers in pharma sector during pandemic in india sir the chemical engineers are employed by some of the largest uh, pharmaceutical companies in india such as uh, dr reddy cpl sun pharma etc and even vaccine manufacturers such as serum institute bharat bio tech etc so sir in this case the role of uh, chemical engineers starts from uh, identifying the uh, pharmaceutical product a medicine vaccine etc and uh, producing them at a large scale in a efficient and a cost uh, cost effective manner so sir uh, chemical engineering concepts are used in uh, reaction engineering in which uh, uh, medicines are produced and ensuring that the highest safety protocols and clean uh, mechanisms are uh, used so that there is no uh, no hazard which can be introduced in the medicine sir mm-hmm. so in terms of any any production of ma- medicines in large scale chemical engineers play a crucial role okay uh, there was a news item that uh, in rural india inflation is rising why is yes. it a matter of great concern to us sir recently uh, there have been news reports that uh, the overall indian uh, cpi inflation has been 6.95% and the rural areas inflation has crossed even 7.5% uh, year on year growth sir with respect to this we see there is a, a significant concerns because their inflation has been in uh, f- food and 
uh, other edible products apart from this high inflation is also there in fuel uh, products sir and since uh, rural areas have lower uh, availability of money and the the poverty rate is also higher in rural areas so the buoyancy of the uh, rural citizens is difficult for to manage at such high level of inflation sir so this is one reason why uh, it might get difficult for people in rural india to uh, absorb the inflation okay last question since you are interested in civil aviation what is the water water salute sir whenever uh, a new airline uh, started starts its operation into a into a new country or a city so the airport provides a water salute as a welcome measure uh, to that uh, to that airline or to the aircraft sir this is water salute okay thank you over to mm-hmm. you mr randeep thank you sir thank you very much well good afternoon naman good afternoon sir uh, you are from rajasthan and presently settled in maharashtra yes Mumbai. so in your opinion on various socio economic parameters which is more developed maharashtra or rajasthan sir uh, some of the socio economic uh, indicators which i can compare is uh, number one would be uh, female uh, literacy sir in rajasthan the female literacy is very low at 52% while uh, in maharashtra it is at around uh, 68 69% which is sir above the national average so the the literacy level is quite different apart from that even the secondary grade participation or enrollment is also very low in rajasthan which is much higher in maharashtra sir with respect to uh, other social indicators such as labor force participation rate sir the labor force participation rate in maharashtra is higher uh, it is higher than the national average of around 22% but most of the women are working in the agricultural sector where the price remuneration is much lower while in maharashtra i see a large city a larger city such as mumbai pune nagpur uh, they employ large number of women in uh, service sector and the uh, so you, you, mean, you mean to say mara uh, yeah, from your statements i find that uh, maharashtra is a uh, uh, better state uh, in terms of various socio economic indicators including economy G- state gdp yes sir gdp wise maharashtra is the largest contributor in india as a state and per capita gdp is also sir higher right. of maharashtra than rajasthan sir right right so tell me uh, naman uh, despite uh, all these uh, developments in maharashtra economic growth in maharashtra uh, if you look at the if you compare the condition of farmers then in maharashtra particularly in some parts of maharashtra like vidarbha and uh, west Mar- maratwada the cases yes. of farmer suicide are, are much higher as as we uh, as we compare it when with, with the rajasthan uh, sir recently i also got the opportunity to travel to nagpur where i uh, try to understand why the cases of farmer suicide is higher in vidarbha and sir based on different readings i realized that the major uh, issue is with respect to water availability the availability of water mm-hmm. uh, in uh, the winter season is particularly very low and the the rabi crop uh, is grown in less than 10% of the total area in vidarbha uh, in in the kharif season where the water availability is comparatively high the failure of crops is frequent because the erratic nature of monsoon it delays the monsoon or it uh, increases the rainfall at a very high extent which uh, damages the crop so sir uh, the the common crops there which are some of the millets like ragi and cotton uh, sugarcane wheat sir they they face severe uh, issues of uh, consistent uh, production and which results in sir failure of crops and farmer suicides and in case of rajasthan why how rajasthan farmers for the distress level is comparatively lower uh, sir with respect to rajasthan uh, the number of farmer suicides are lower this is because the the traditional practice of agriculture in rajasthan it relies mostly on growing uh, millet such as bajra uh, and some mm-hmm. of the crops like mustard wheat which are suitable to the semi semi arid and the arid crop of uh, nature of rajasthan sir so the uh, even though the availability of water is also very low there but the uh, traditional practices of using tanks uh, canals and tube wells is more developed in rajasthan which is able to sustain the uh, the agriculture in rajasthan sir what what about allied activities agricultural allied, uh, allied activities 
which are do you think there is any difference in rajasthan and comparison uh, maharashtra like uh, dairy tree and other uh, like orchards uh, sir there is a difference between the two uh, in terms of livestock if we compare the Uh, the contribution of livestock in uh, agricultural gdp of rajasthan is much higher than uh, in maharashtra uh, there there are uh, that, that is the main reason that we are okay yes. that, that you want to say that uh, this is one reason that farmers uh, uh, distress level is comparatively less yes. in case of rajasthan yes. yes because they have a support support from the allied activities as well yes 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 okay sir. now no uh, you tell me uh, do you think the government of Mar india is taking steps uh, which are adequate for uh, for climate action or you would uh, as a chemical engineer you would like to add some new or innovative uh, actions the government of india has been taking uh, many steps with respect to climate change uh, we have recently heard uh, prime minister panchamrit in cop26 glasgow and uh, one of the key feature of the india's climate change action program has been the development of solar energy and renewable uh, other renewable energies uh, at larger scale sir uh, even though the, uh, the efforts made by the government of india is at a very good level sir one of them would be uh, carbon capture and utilization storage in which uh, sir using different chemical reactions we can have uh, absorption of carbon from the atmosphere in the in the form of carbon dioxide into different uh, chemicals and they can then be stored in the earth for a very long time but apart from this industries is one of the larger uh, contributor of uh, greenhouse gases such as thermal plants and uh, different industry plant uh, different industries as well so in this case the industries need to come up with uh, climate change uh, mitigation strategy by using use of fly ash or higher uh, efficiency of thermal power plants so as to reduce the carbon emissions sir okay now well, let us talk about tourism in rajasthan uh, rajasthan is one of the major tourist destinations both for domestic tourists as well as uh, tourists from other countries yes. so do you think uh, that infrastructure is adequate in rajasthan and we are uh, able to tap that potential to its full capacity or something needs to be done sir uh, in this regard one thing has come to my mind that recently a unesco team visited uh, rajasthan uh, jaipur particularly and it uh, remarked that uh, the heritage of jaipur is much better than heritage of uh, european countries but it's that the maintenance of these uh, heritage places has not been done properly which has resulted in under utilization of the potential sir with respect to with respect to the uh, availability of infrastructure uh, in tourism tourist places in rajasthan the infrastructure has not been properly developed uh, the number of uh, boarding and lodging facilities hotels is below uh, average of the indian uh, average number uh, with respect to availability of flights sir uh, to to cities like jaipur udaipur jaisalmer bikaner has also been lower than Con connectivity the... connectivity you are trying to say connectivity is a one big impo important issue yes yes sir yes sir okay now naman my last question to you is uh, now this is with regard to g20 now, india would be getting the leadership uh, uh, presidency of g20 next year yes so how uh, do you think india can make use of this uh, opportunity to reinforce or to strengthen further strengthen its position as a global leader uh, sir uh, india would be getting the presidency of g20 next year from indonesia currently and the ma major objectives of g20 is economic development of the world and as a president of g20 we need to make sure that uh, after effects of covid-19 are mitigated and the economic recovery is faster Uh, with respect to this we can have a uh, better trade uh, is, uh, solve the issues of supply chain bottlenecks which are currently being faced throughout the world uh, apart from this we also need to have a collective fund and uh, availability of uh, money from different uh, world uh, institutions such as world bank imf uh, and even regional institutions like uh, asian development bank uh, etc which would uh, 
help capital investment in these countries sir as the president of uh, the g20 we need to make sure that the countries come together and they start investing uh, in the world and uh, solve the issues of sir inflation such as crude oil prices and uh, sir agricultural commodity thank you. thank you thank you naman over to chairman sir thank you sir so naman uh, recently <clears throat> india has signed ftas free trade agreements with uae and australia and they are uh, you know considered to be the watershed uh, you know uh, moments now what which are the other blocks or countries you think india can enter into a fta with sir the other countries which i can think india should enter ftas one is uk uh, we are also in the progress of uh, signing fta with U united kingdom apart from this european union is one major block it is the largest trading block after china for uh, india and we need to have uh, fta with eu as well so that we can compete with countries like vietnam and bangladesh uh, exports apart from this sir uh, fta is also required in uh, countries like in north america and latin america such as canada uh, usa mexico and some other latin american countries sir so naman uh, i'll come to the last question which will be from the topic of your choice which you are going to tell me sir uh, most of the topics have been covered i would sir like to speak something on traveling which is sir one of my hobby on what traveling on traveling sir yes sir All traveling right. so tell me why why uh, india is incredible sir india is definitely incredible because of its very rich uh, culture and heritage uh, india has been a civilization for last 4000 or more years and has seen uh, cultures of of uh, do domestic and uh, people belonging to uh, other regions such as middle east central asia uh, european uh, culture as well sir incredibility comes from culture and heritage sir incredibility also comes from the whole heartedness of people of india they welcome through the concept of vasudeva kutumbakam and the people are very welcoming and uh, they they serve the people or tourists who ever come to india with whole uh, sir respect and heartedness this this is the major uh, sir incredibility feature of sir indian tourism so thank you naman uh okay naman tell me how you felt during the whole discussion what was your impression sir uh, i could have done a little better uh, some of the answers i thought were not so well prepared uh, i uh, there is some scope of improvements are in uh, answering the questions this uh, is my okay so uh, coming to your personality your appearance your clarity <laughs> of thought delivery everything is uh, very good i find you to be very pleasing personality to talk to confident you, very clear about your thought uh, now coming to specifics uh, the only question where i thought you could have improved in any leadership quality always think of you know your entire team you are you are a team leader as well so but for that minor uh, correction you you should always you know bring in the team work whenever you talk as a leader okay yes. that was yeah. the reason why you were made the police commissioner that not only outside but inside then uh, yes. okay. inflation rising inflation in rural india was very well covered udan scheme you can give better figures because uh, what i was looking at was number of uh, flights that have been started and number of airports that have uh, now come up yes okay so while you covered in general but then it will be good if you can cover the remaining aspects and uh, your reply on uh, chemical engineers and pharma sector during pandemic was also very good so that's it some areas that i wish to cover was uh, bhopal gas tra tragedy and as a chemical engineer what uh, kind of precautions or you know lessons you have learned 
today. So yes, just uh, keep a track of all that is uh, relating to your subject. Definitely, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Over to you, Mr. Anil. Mr. Anil. Thank you, sir. I completely share the view expressed by... Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Well, uh, I completely share the views expressed by uh, my honorable member, Mr. Khanna. Uh, just one point from my side that I found some of your replies were slightly longish, like about the farmer suicide case. On the comparison of uh, socio-economic conditions, you are absolutely on the, on the track. But when we I talked about uh, uh, ask about the farmer suicide, so there you were longish on the Marathwada uh, the region side. So, uh, otherwise, uh, you are a very uh, excellent candidate, and uh, you are uh, you are very articulate, well informed, and have good and in-depth knowledge of the subjects relating to your DAP and even other questions which we have asked. So, I, I wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, Raman, uh, I divide into three parts. One is your personality, including your, you know, how you conducted yourself you know, during uh, the interview. Uh, so from that angle, you have, have done very well. Uh, you have a very pleasing personality and you are young and you look young and uh, energetic. You know, you were confident, you were smiling and it was quite like conversation, you know, the way UPSC would desire. Your body language was also very comfortable. So from that angle, you need not bother much. Okay. Now, number two, regarding the the conversation and the the delivery. So, one thing which uh, my esteemed colleague has mentioned about your answers being a bit longish. Uh, so, be slightly more crisp and uh, brief. But there were certain answers in which you were extremely brief. You know, and the reason when you are very brief is nothing but that you lack ideas and you have exhausted all that you know about that particular thing. So the sum and substance of my mentioning is that you have to study more deeper into each and every topic, which may be, you know, in your, you know, your guest lists, you know, that the guest questions. Yes. And it's very easy to find out what kind of questions could be asked from you is that you start looking at your dive from the beginning. You are from Maharashtra, so you would be asked questions. Yes. You are from Mumbai, Mumbai will invite a lot of questions. Latest IPCC climate change has said that Mumbai is going to submerge in 2050. Yes. I'm just thinking of a, you know, a possible, uh, uh, you know, thing about Mumbai. There can be hundreds of questions on Mumbai. Number two, Maharashtra. Again, some of the questions were asked from you about the farmer suicide and all, but there are many more issues uh, in Maharashtra which uh, you may have to, you know, sort of brush up. And you can even make notes, you know, so that your answers are structured. Yes. Coming to your IIT, IIT itself will invite questions, and you will certainly be asked a question as to why are you wanting to come to civil services, you know, yes. especially uh, if a person is an IIT, that too from Bombay. So, you know, this thing immediately comes to the mind of the uh, ME panelist uh, that, you know, why is he coming here? So that you should prepare, uh, you should be well prepared. But your answer today, when this question was asked, was uh, not up to the mark, uh, Naman. You need to, uh, you know, make some changes. You mentioned more about your own abilities. Okay, sir. Don't mention unless somebody asks you. Okay. You know, when somebody asks you why civil services. So you should not go for that, sir. I at some point in time I was made to realize that I have that leadership skills and qualities and I can be a good civil servant. Don't get into self, you know, glorification. Okay, sir. It is not good. Okay. But that is something which the panel is judging today. Yes. Right? But if the panel asks you specifically, 
what leadership skills you have that will make you a good civil servant then you can answer all that you have mentioned okay sir right but when they ask you why are you decided to come to civil services then of course you have to come with the benefits virtues and the positives about civil service without without criticizing the you know what you have been doing and without criticizing oh in private sector there's nothing do not mention about it so okay. diversity of job right challenges and opportunities you know a lot of exposure to national international issues to the rural issues serving the serving a large opportunity to serve a large number of people and have a large outreach you know to the people job satisfaction you know and of course your career prospects so you can pick up some of them and make it very structured okay. and also do not say that i want to contribute to the society you know it looks very uh, you know everyone is contributing to the society whoever is doing his job sincerely because there is nothing specific about uh, the the civil services that it contributes to the society and uh, the other jobs don't so without casting any aspersion on any other job you should come out with unique usps of civil service right okay. and yes, that sir. is that is something which will attract you yes sir so don't focus on yourself so this is just one by the way uh, since this question could be asked from you you must uh, try to attend like this uh, so mainly coming to the quality of content uh, your quality you are well informed you knew little about everything but you need to go deeper are you there can you listen to me yes sir i am listening to you uh, i can so you you knew a lot any if you have interest in many things you could relate you did not say i have not heard this i have not seen this you knew ever bill also you knew our regional connectivity scheme also you could also mention oda and you also mentioned about uk that boris johnson you know has said this whatever so i was very happy about it but in certain questions like you some depth is required and if you if you are having that depth of knowledge you know without asking you can mention those points to earn some brownie points you understand yes sir yes sir instead of telling something very superficial yes sir now ease of doing business i'll give an example you mentioned something as a collector which at times you may not be able to give okay sir you know you said i'll be give water i'll give electricity now these are the two things which i think i have been collector of five districts i don't think i was i could put up hand pumps but i could not create water okay sir so facilitation of electricity and water you know that is a better word number one and there are okay, many sir. more ingredients in the ease of doing business you go through yes, it yes. you know there is also an index you read those come out, come out with those and that can match with what a district collector can do for example single window yes sir you see when an industrialist comes he doesn't come to you ki sir please give me water if you give water then i will come he has yes. already surveyed water he has always already seen the land land acquisition is of course an issue but he is not bothered about land because he decide once he has decided to invest what he requires from you is the little formalities that when he starts his business please give me permits and uh, you know licenses and permissions okay so don't sit on it you know it takes months and months and months for every small thing for one hotel industry to start you need 50 to 60 permissions yes sir right that is one registry formalities enforcing of contracts yes. resolution of disputes you know these are in the hands of the district administration more than water and electricity okay sir all right 
so when i said district magistrate so i deliberately mentioned otherwise it could have been what do you need for good investments you know for industry then you could have said sir water electricity this 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 but for you you have to provide that and a collector a district magistrate can provide all these in the form of facilitation yes sir. when getting credit hmm. they need money so collector is also the chairperson of a bankers committee also okay sir. so just to for your information so go into the depth of every daf issue that you have so iit chemical engineering we did not ask too many questions and of course your interest in civil aviation your interest in travel and everything that you have written in your hobbies and other curricular activities just make notes of them and be relate to the issues which are in discussion in these days specifically okay. for economics and international relations and certain social sectors like okay. health education and women empowerment so these are generally uh, the subjects which keep circulating all right so anything naman yes, you would like to know from us sir the uh, feedback has been very detailed so everything has been covered i don't have any particular questions right. to ask very good so naman we have the panel has given we give some rating in percentage also marks so okay, panel has given you 65% marks today okay sir which is from the upsc <clears throat> standards very good the 70 percenter is 180 plus it's 180 out of 275 okay sir thank All you right. thank you sir thank you sir did you appear in the interview earlier also no sir this would be my first interview so pura zor laga do naman and uh, do your uh, best and uh, we we hope that if you have done your main exams well you should be in thank you sir i will do my best sir i will give all the effort so thank you naman and all the best to you all the best thank you all the best naman all the best thank thank you sir thank you sir.